facing persistently weak poll numbers at home, President Joe Biden set off for a two-day gathering of the G20 in New Delhi. The meeting among leaders of the world's largest economies comes at a time of increasing geopolitical divisions. Notably, both Chinese President Xi Jinping and Russian President Vladimir Putin are skipping this year's summit hosted by India. For President Biden, the trip, which includes a stop in Vietnam, is meant to position the U.S. as a more reliable partner to the global south. Laura Barone-Lopez joins us now to discuss the significance of the president's travels in Asia. Laura, good to see you. Good to be here. So we know President Biden has already met with the Indian Prime Minister, Narendra Modi. What are we hearing about what came of that meeting? Coming out of that first meeting today, White House officials were saying that they were hopeful that a potential deal could be struck on a railway infrastructure project. That deal would be between India, the United States, Saudi Arabia, and the Arab Emirates. It would link the Gulf and Arab countries, as well as linking them to India via seaports. Uh, and one White House official described it potentially as a earth-shaking corridor. But again, those talks are still developing, and they haven't come to a deal just quite yet. Beyond that, Amna, the prospect of real big developments out of this summit are slim. And because of the fact that India does not want, want to alienate China or Russia, and also India watchers are skeptical that uh, there is going to be any type of uh, supportive joint statement behind Ukraine that comes out of this summit. And critics are also warning the administration that as Biden tries to improve his relationship with India, reminding him that India is, again, a human rights abuser, as well as their democracy is backsliding. I to remind folks that uh, India remains neutral when it comes to the, the war in Ukraine. But China, we know, is a big focus for this administration, both on the economic and the security front. What is the White House saying about the fact that Xi Jinping is not even at this summit? Publicly, the White House says that they're disappointed. But uh, one of the big goals for the president at this summit is to bolster the ability for alternative lending to developing middle-income countries, uh, it specifically trying to improve institutions like the World Bank and the Inter International Monetary Fund and their ability to provide lending to these different countries. Uh, again, though, the ability for Biden to leverage a U.S. commitment and getting other Western, Western allies to do the same, mm. again, watchers are skeptical that this that much is going to materialize at this summit. He goes to Vietnam on Sunday. Why Vietnam and why now? Vietnam, uh, I spoke to National Security Council uh, coordinator John Kirby, said that the president is excited about this trip, especially at a time where the country's two militaries are getting to know each other. They want to take this relationship to the next level. Uh, but again, the White House is trying to say, this isn't about China. Mm -hmm. this, this visit is very much about China, Amna, and trying to improve relationships with uh, someone in China's backyard. As we mentioned at the top of this discussion, back home, of course, to tough polls for the Biden re-election effort. Does that in some ways raise the stakes for this trip abroad for President Biden? Um, no, you're right. That Those polls uh, not only showed low job approval ratings, but also voters were concerned about Biden's age. So the White House, well, actually, I should say Biden's campaign, uh, put out an ad actually the same day that the president left for this trip. And the ad was focused on him traveling to Ukraine, traveling to a war zone, which he did earlier this year. And in it, they were trying to show that, look, these trips aren't easy, that he has the stamina, stamina to continue this job, that he is trying to be presidential and bolster uh, relationships with key allies on the world stage and defend democracy. It was no accident that that ad omno was released on the exact same day that the president left again for another foreign trip. Laura Brown lopez our White House correspondent, covering a key summit for President Biden. Laura, good to see you. Thank you. Thank you.